Intro track, close your eyes and swing. It starts off with little like porch chimes, you know, and then ambience and stuff like that, piano keys, just ambience bringing you into track two. I mean, track one is just a really good intro track, so we're not gonna really go over that too much, but for what it's worth, I think it is a good intro, you know? I don't really think intro tracks are that good for albums, you know? I mean, just, just if you're gonna have an intro track that's basically just an interlude, just make that a part of your second track if it's gonna fade it anyways, you know? If it's just gonna fade in, with the same tempo in the same key just make them both like the same track you know because no one's gonna be like oh i specifically want to listen to the intro track on loop no they're gonna want to listen to track track one and track two combined if they're gonna listen to something like that because it just smoothly transitions in to track two which i'm about to talk about track two black and blue wow that rhymes really really cool beat with this you know very calm voice coming from vin staples i'm gonna be saying that a lot vin staples is a really calm voice um nice like little piano just playing in the background really it's like uh vibey you know really consistently good beats throughout this album is what i've noted and vince staples comes to this track or vince staples uh, hops on this track with some pretty good flows you know not necessarily not necessarily unique more than it is just catchy but for track one i think this is a really good start you know black and blue is a pretty good track and i'm gonna get it i'm gonna give it a golden star if any of you long time watchers of this channel know anything about me is that i have a different rating system for every single album why is that so you have to watch the whole way through. You have to watch the whole video. Track three, Government Cheese. Very, very nice piano on this. It just suits Vince Staples' voice and flow so well for this beat. The drums are really, really cool too. I, I'm loving this piano sample. And overall, this track is really, really solid. I like to bring up some lines, but Spotify uh, doesn't have lyrics for this album yet. That's how early I'm reviewing it. I really like the chorus. You know, he's like, don't forget to smile, you know? Just chill, you know, chill stuff like that, you know? Dancing music. I wouldn't say it's like dance music in the same way Drake makes da dance music. You know, this is not honestly never mind. This is like Vince Staples' own thing. This is this is entirely disconnected, but it's just music that you just nod in your head to. I really like it, you know. It's a lot more conceptual than uh, his other albums and tracks, you know. Um, I think he gets a little bit more introspective with this album, and that's kind of reflected onto the lyrics of this track. So I'm, I'm really liking that, you know. Maybe if we were going to get more music from Vince Staples in the future, he could kind of further push on that like note but for what we're getting right now i'm liking it so far and we're only three tracks in children's song has this really catchy guitar in the background with this nice snap and drum kit it, it just really suits you know the chill vibes of this album really really well and wh while you are going to hear like chill vibes on this album it's it's still you know shrouded by like this cloud of depression for some reason like it's it's a really surprisingly sad album for some reason like i know people might get different tones from this but when i listen to this album i think of like it's sad you know it's not really really happy but children's song has a very happy beat for you know what vince is rapping about and i think that like juxtaposition is really really creative you don't really see that much often anymore you know uh i, th I guess another example i could think of is hey ya by outcast you know really really deep lyrics but really really catchy beat you know children's song by vince staples is kind of the same thing and i really like this track track four is great i'm gonna give this one a gold star shame on the devil you know as short of a song as short of a song it is it's really really catchy that chorus you know vince goes in and sings with this laid back lo-fi guitar lo-fi beats all around you know there's what what's there to what's there to hate there's nothing to hate what's more to love shame on the devil you know this is uh one of the this is the only track that got a music video and the music video is only what 50 seconds long so i'll just play snippets of it throughout the video because that's the only thing you're gonna get but this track gets another gold star what is what is this track called a toofy a toofy i don't know let's get up close for this one this one's a little bit more serious with the beats a little bit more serious in nature i do like this track a lot more than the other ones i think it has a really creative flow really creative beat and the intro starts off pretty seriously to let you know that this track is different from the other it's not necessarily a standout track with the uh with the claims he's trying to say or the lyrics he's talking about but i do think the beat kind of carries i really like this track i'm not going to give it a gold star though because the lyrics might need a little bit more polishing great track though interlude liars this piano like the piano that hits with the these, this couple conversating about lying, you know? It's 
so like majestic you know it's it's elegantly eloquent this piano though i don't know what scale that is but that's the type of piano just playing the keys that makes me want to learn how to do that like that sounds amazing like it, it sounds great but just the interlude the interlude gets two gold stars i mean it i mean it that interlude is great that's probably one of the best interludes i've heard you know besides for free and for sale of kendrick lamar's to paper butterfly justin uh the track justin this is uh the weakest track of the album in my opinion mainly mainly because he's just telling a story that in my opinion doesn't really make sense I, I he's like meeting up with this girl and then this girl has a little cousin i don't know if i'm getting this wrong because i can't read the lyrics and i i just kind of zone out when i listen to music but from what i got gathered he he's talking to this girl he goes to this girl's house you know they're about to do something i better do something and then like right right before something happens like uh she just opens the door and then there's this just this fucking kid what <laughs> i don't understand um this is gonna get this is gonna get a uh, this is gonna get no star not a star not a star in sight radio is uh, the track radio is like justin if justin had like a good story and a catchier guitar and a catchier chorus and stuff like that you know radio radio is what justin you know strive you know this track is really really good that laid back piano as i said before really really catchy it has like this distorted delay on it that i think is really really unique track and i very much like hearing that coming from mainstream artists like vince staples i wouldn't really say mainstream but you know a part of the stream i guess really nice track i'm gonna give this one a gold star like i said this album does have some depressive undertones like the track nothing matters i mean just the name alone it's really depressing it reminds me of uh some rap songs by earl sweatshirt sweatshirt by earl sweatshirt it reminds me of some rap songs by earl sweatshirt you know not necessarily in the way the beats are made or how it sounds but it's just the the track names and just like it sounds hope you know and, and it's just contrast with the beat sometimes because the beats are so chill you know and this this beat nothing matters the beat on this one probably goes harder than any other track you know it's just one of the catchier ones on this album i really like the track nothing matters i'm gonna give this one a gold star little homies has this really cool phaser synth in the background that i really like with the beat you know it's like this subdued drums mixing with this nice instrumental in the background that vince staples voice fits perfectly over you know not necessarily the most creative track i've ever heard but little homies is definitely something i would play in the car really nice track i really really like freeman is just vince staples rapping over like a simple 808 you know it uh, a lot of good wordplay coming from vince but this one also just kind of fall kind of falls into the background not for the same reasons as justin but it's just a little bit boring compared to his more creative stuff on this very same album i mean literally a track before this was probably one of the most hard-hitting ones two tracks before this what am i saying two tracks before this was probably one of the most hard-hitting tracks on the whole album why won't the sun come out it's this outro track where this girl is talking about this experience i, I forgot what it i forgot what the experience was but it is a really cool like just going away thing the album's over it's like a, it's like a settle down it fits really neatly into the album i very much expected something like this it ends off with the same ambience that the album began with coming up with a perfect loop you know if, if it was like 2019 and igor didn't drop yet i'd be like wow that's so creative but ever since igor dropped everybody's been doing the whole oh the album loops perfectly if you play all the song uh if you play all the song if you play the whole album on loop but this is a good 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 outro track maybe not gold star worthy but does it really need to be it's an outro track who cares all right and that was dark Times by vince Staples. there's one more thing though the vince staples show is definitely a show that vince staples is making and in my opinion vince staples has the potential to be like like incredible like a creative genius you know people people glaze childish gambino people glaze the korean town oddity but i think vince staples actually like has what it takes to make some serious serious like good art because let's be real you know if there's one time i can actually agree with anthony fantano and i i agree with him a bit when it comes to music taste alone but like not just gambino is just kind of mid you know gambino you know is this mid you know i didn't like uh the internet i didn't like camp you know i i just listened to atavista i still didn't like it even though it was remade you know four years later little foot bigfoot is obnoxious i do not like it but vince staples really really chill you know really really great you know really creative and really really just fun tracks to listen to i really enjoy vince staples a lot more than i enjoy childish gambino and if you have a problem with that comment down below and just wait till i don't respond to you I'm just another music critic and I'll see you guys next time.